Welcome back. So, indeed, that game was so long, we are slightly behind schedule, I thought. Well, never mind what I thought. I never was lucky. Mistaken. You thought you'd have time to eat food, James. You were wrong. <laughs> well, as long as I've got time to um, fit my new distress strap on my 30s Tiso watch, then... 30s? Yeah, man. It's not from... Well, the design is from the 30s. It's a reissue from the 1997. Oh, that looks so nice. But if you... Um, yeah, it's uh, a really old uh, style dial. It smells like leather. Like it smells too. like leather, James. That's because it is so right. careful with my strap. I think it's I like you touching it. I like I like this stuff. When Let's you can see it, top down cam, top down cam. All right, so there we go. you can't really see it too much, but it is on my uh, Twitter and my Instagram. The concentric circles are marvelous. This is a manual winder. Watch it's open at the back. You can see it has Geneva stripes, as they're called. And uh, it's not activated right now, but again, you can't really see it too much, so it might tick away there or something. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, it came with this strap, but I bought my own one, so I'm going to put that on in a little bit. Team Liquid versus Sharks. That is the game we have today in North America. Can we have a look at the bracket and see um, how these teams got to this position? Because we didn't see, we saw the Team Liquid game. They uh, started off a little cold and then brutalized their opponent in e United. Sharks took out INTZ to make it to this position. On the other side of the bracket, we've got Cloud9, who had beaten Luminosity. We had a uh, bomb issues during that series, but I came back for the last map, so we did manage to see that on train. Mixed well with some very dirty plays. They'll be playing NRG, who beat Singularity in the other match yesterday. So indeed, it will be Team Liquid versus Sharks. Does anybody know anything about Sharks? Yeah, I uh, we covered them a little bit during the minor. Um, now, granted, they didn't really make the the major, mm. but they they played pretty well. I think it was between Sharks and INTZ at the end there. Yell had some fantastic performances, and actually, um, Sharks yesterday, they beat INTZ, but uh, granted, you know, KNG's not there anymore. Yeah. They later on, right after that, actually went to play e United, the game that we did cover <laughs> versus mm -hmm. Liquid, and they lost 2-0, and e United completely stomped them on one of the maps. So if here, if I'm Sharks, one of the things, and I was just gonna mention that, one of the things from Sharks and at least is that they do play Vertigo, so it's going to be interesting to see. And they played that yesterday versus INTZ as well. Okay. And it will be interesting. Now, Grant, the Liquid is a pretty good Vertigo team. Yeah, they're really good in it. But it's one of those maps that we don't necessarily see all too often. Um, yeah. And on top of that, like we were talking about Liquid, even though United played really well, Liquid did have a slow start yesterday. They weren't really woken up. That did change at the end, though. But Elish, fantastic performances throughout. It will be exciting to see it. I mean, I am expecting a 2-0 from Liquid. I mean, these are two great maps from them. Even if it goes to a third, it's Inferno. Uh, definitely an uphill, uphill battle from Sharks. They've never played each other, by the way. That's interesting, especially with the Vertigo pick, because I think that the map is still in a stage where you could have some gimmicks which might win you the odd round here and there. Um, I think people were taken aback with the sheer aggression of Renegades, for example, on Vertigo at the Major. I think, I think that certainly had a part to play in how deep a run they had. Um, so Sharks could come into this with some gimmicks. They may have something that Liquid have not seen, but of course, I have to pick Liquid as a prediction. They're supposed to be the best team in the world right now. I'm going to go wise. with the pinnacle odds, and I'm going to pick Liquid. You haven't seen the odds yet. I mean, I would think <laughs> that it's... Fraudulent. Towards Liquid. <laughs> Fraudulent, Robin. If it's not, then okay, I'm going to take Liquid anyway. Yeah, okay. you know same, I mean? same, same, same. You're in with the horse as well? Yeah. Big fan of horses? I love horses. Oh, okay. Except, okay. Sh except Shetland ponies. Yeah. Oh, oh dear, look. Yeah, you have gotten what you wanted, Dan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely said liquid, so I guess, I guess production is It's a team, it's a team called Sharks. I'm still going to pick liquid. I do love me some sharks. I prefer sharks to horses, but I'll go yeah. team liquid. But what do the fans think? Considering you're a diver. I mean, the sharks can yeah. swim through the liquid. And I've got but... shark diving a number of times. What? What? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> you, d you don't want to know. <laughs> I, I yeah, I, I often don't. Really. It, <laughs> it, it it was a Dan joke. Yes, the, the we should we just line, rename though. Dad jokes to Dan jokes. I yeah, think. you know he did have a good run of about a week of being funny. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it may, okay. have, think it may have come to an end now. The fountain right. has dried up <laughs> <laughs> during the break. He had he had as he had a week's worth of stuff basically yeah, of, 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 of being amusing. It was great. I'm still in shock. So fan, the fan vote, guys. Where's the fan vote? What do the fans think of this? I, I'm not too familiar with... Okay, this is pretty reasonable. Even with... Uh, I mean, there are three Brazilians and two Argentinians on this Sharks team. Um, 
I don't think we did any Sharks um, games at the Major. I think the other boys were dealing with that part of the minor. Yeah, we didn't get any. We were doing a different region, I think. Um, it was when it went back and forth, but I think we missed the stages where Sharks were playing. So this, I think this is the first time that we would have seen them play. Um, you can see the, the different... Like, if you look there, <laughs> you can see the different... If, in case you wanted to see... Um, that's what's going on with the team, but I, I'm not too. I don't think I'm familiar with any of these. I don't know. Maybe Leo Drunky rings a bell, but I, apart from that, like I don't really. I think Sharks was a team that played the first map versus INTZ, and they even for me came in as underdogs. But one thing that I noted was that Sharks actually anti-strated INTZ a lot. Okay. They came like really prepared. That's a now, domestic matchup, there, right? Yes, and now the problem was for them, obviously, because they had knew, known that matchup for quite some time. Mm. The next matchup, you didn't quite see the same tendencies. They came back to like, okay, let's just play our own game. Whereas, yeah. you know, like the INTZ one was very much like, okay, we know exactly what they're doing. They like to push, just hold the angles. But when they later on played versus the, the energies and stuff, it, you know, didn't really happen. Um, okay, went how, back to how, do, how do you see all these pinnacle odds then? Are we, are we saying, are we going beyond eight? Okay. I was, I was calling around an eight. Um, I don't think we've seen more than that, like a 10 or something. We saw, what, what did we see yesterday? 8.4 or something? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, these odds are insane, right? And like Grant, and then like I said as well, it is an insane upside if Sharks were to win this best of three best versus of three, Liquid. Yeah. Uh, exactly. It's best of three, right? But eight odds is still good. I mean, there 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 is cause for a potential upset, right? But if you just compare the two teams... Oh, there. That's what I mean. If you compare the two teams, right? It is. Come on, guys. How many how many maps do you have to play the same yeah. time to like potentially get that yeah. win, right? Like it is possible, yeah, yeah. but like the odds are heavily sacked in Liquid's favor. As they should be. As they should be. Yeah. So we saw we saw a slow start from Team Liquid yesterday. I'm not expecting that today. I think um, should be overwhelming. Apart from Vertigo, Vertigo, I feel like if if Sharks have got something weird to offer, who knows? Who knows? I mean, you break the you break the right buys. When Liquid are on the CT side, maybe you get ten rounds. And Liquid are a really good Vertigo team too. I mean, they they have like they had like uh, until until Astralis, I think they had unbeaten an unbeaten record on it. If I'm not mistaken. I oh. mean, it makes sense, right? If you look at that, their just their map wins. Yeah. Past three months, right? They're all sure, above eighty yeah. percent. Um. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I'm also trying to figure out if I if I remember seeing. I mean, I know Liquid played Vertigo during the major, but I'm not sure if I caught one of those maps. Yeah. Yeah. But I am, I mean, like you said, I, I'm, I'm, I am expecting Liquid to just come in here and like, are they obviously know how to play Vertigo. Um, it's definitely going to be difficult. Um, I mean, the, the first obstacle is always f forcing respect through being able to win name battles. Like actually having the, the level of skill that you can match up against the, the, any other team. Because if you, if you can't, then they can start doing stuff that's actually bad Counter-Strike, but it will work just because they can outshoot you. And then everything gets really chaotic. And that's the thing that United did so well yesterday was they actually were looking amazing. They did some crazy individual stuff that I didn't ex I didn't expect to see a level out of them mm. individually. And so that's where it has to start. If, especially if you're not as tactical as the other team, then you have to somehow tip the scales in, in your favor in another way. And the only other thing that's really left uh, beyond that is 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 your individual level. So, Yeah. And it will be also fun for me. I, I mean, Vertigo is so new into this professional scene to begin with. And yeah. like, sure, we saw it played a decent amount during the major, but the more time goes on now, I mean, there was a lot of tendencies to just end up going A, right? In terms of defaults, maybe you didn't utilize mid all too much. You might've just used it for maybe the lurk, or maybe you do it sometimes for like a B split. But other than that, mid is just very untouched in that sense. And then for B, you just have the straight angles. Um, it will be fun to see if this actually changes now while this year progresses. If we see less and less more so like just going towards the A-bomb side, I understand why, why it is that way. You know, it's very open. You get a lot of duels. There's a lot of angles. You can send a lot of people there and like cover lots. Uh, but I think that people will eventually start figuring this out of like, okay, we can't really be keep doing this. Um, I wonder if the design of the map is going to be stable now. After the dramatic changes that had to be made, if it's just going to uh, stay in situ, only time will tell. Glad that the struggles from before have come and gone. Now it seems to be acceptable in the eyes of many. But left, left, right, and Nitro will survive to allow Liquid to choose their side. And they will continue on the CT side, it seems, and they get to go. All right, then Sharks have it all to do. And this is this is where I think we get a uh, we get all the information for Sharks in that the only way they win Vertigo is if they break. 
the buy rounds, the important buy rounds for Team Liquid when they're at, uh, their economy is still brittle. Simple as that. That's how this one has to go. Yeah, I think, like you're saying, I think economy has a important role here. They have already made one of the purchases. We'll see. People like to do it on the T side on Vertigo, but two sets of nades so far. Two smokes, two flashes, and one molly. Still one last player. It's about to go down. But sprays are out, and off we go. Sharks are going to have five man on road, cutting the noise as they make their way towards the elevator position. Stewie not going to be shy for a peek. And there's a deep grenade of some description. Not sure if it's a decoy. Yeah, it is. One set of steps heard. But look at the rotation from Team Liquid. The B-bomb site has been abandoned. They've got the information they were looking for, whatever that is. It's Dewey with an off angle. Twist is on the flank. He'll do it late. And here is a common setup. The grenades onto the A-bomb site as they continue to creep. There is one player with the off angle on the ramp for Sharks, waiting for that play from Twist. He's going to focus on it. He's going to get absolutely wrecked. The bomb just about to get planted by Exit. Street behind blue. You can see Sharks falling off now. They've used all their utility, save for a flashbang on Luke. You can see him lining it up, Luke, and they start to proceed forth. Stewie has the defuse kit. Going for the defuse while the smoke is up, but he gets shot in the head immediately by the first bullet. Nitro and the lead remain, and this pistol run is starting to look lost. Only one frag in this uh, engagement. Here we go. Another one for Nitro, but he runs out of bullets, and Sharks take the pistol. Yeah, and this is pretty much what we're going to be seeing on this T side. It's really hard to hold this A bomb side, especially when you have utility. People tend to either go very aggressive to try and fight early, or they try to do the retake. And we saw Liquid obviously trying to do the retake here. A note as well, I did say, not sure who I said initially, James, um, but I brain farted. Okay. People look out for sh for sharks during the minor release. Uh, was Leo and Exit. Okay. Um, had some fantastic performances. I think best performing player at the moment is Myron, actually. But those two were performing really well. Notable. Standout players. Things to look out for. We'll see if they have a, another good performance today versus Liquid. Well, this is this has been an interesting challenge for T sides in the uh, in the match where Fades were eliminated at the major. You can see um, they were trying to solve some of these questions on the fly. The way Nico was jumping over the smokes and trying to peek around the box towards a ramp was uh, very precarious and just a hard situation to be in. Just not enough experience really at that point in the major and um, that was a problem. Which yeah, it's funny when you have new maps like that and it's the same thing when Cobblestone was released, right? Of During that major, because it was also the first time Cobblestone was shown, a lot of teams, including us, right? We, we learned the game as we progressed throughout the tournament. Yeah. Uh, I don't think a single team was really prepared for, you know, the changes and whatnot. And especially when you play these teams that you haven't really practiced against, you learn something new and you're like, oh, well, let's take that. And it's very much like you're saying, same with Vertigo in that sense. People figure something out that works and a lot of people steal it in the beginning because obviously there's not a lot of time to really figure this map out. So during the major, you see, you find a lot of cool stuff. That's why we had mentioned initially here after the major and stuff like that, how if this map even changes. But we do see the same thing here, just walking up to A with some nades. But look at the time, there's 20 seconds for them to get their first entry. They're taking too long, and this is where the experience of a Liquid may come into place. Dewey going nuts, just trying to delay people as they push. There's no utility for a bomb fight. Naflak could just go over the top, but he swings wide, and there are stereo frags for Sharks. This might just work out, but Elise, can he find a headshot? Yes, two seconds just to hide in the corner. He's going to swing and just get out of there just in time. And this is where we see the difference in level. You have the advantages, you won the pistol, but you don't give yourself time. Like, why play it so slow versus a, a, a force buy? What are you going to do in the buy rounds if that's how you play the force buy? Yeah, save yourself another five seconds there. So a super risky plant there as well, not knowing where the last player is. There's no time, no choice. Oh, man. Well, that's not a start you wanted if you're sharks, but you do still save the two weapons. But yeah, you, you have to keep the CT side economy poor. You have to limit their utility. You have to make them have buys which aren't ideal. They have to make sacrifices. So they can't do everything they want. That's, from what we've seen so far, the key to victory on the T side. Otherwise, the struggle will be real. The deep smoke again will make it a slow start. Sharks have gone for the uh, force buy, it seems. 
But again, it's it's the unforced errors. And I think that's one of the biggest issues when you are an underdog as well, playing a, a team who are used to a higher caliber of opponent, if you will, is just playing it too safe, you become unsafe. That's a nice opening though, towards the A-bomb site. I don't know how much information has been seen. <laughs> Nafly is falling to pieces with, with the auto shotgun, and this may turn around again. Oh, that's not a great position for an auto shotgun, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Learning on the job. <laughs> that looked awkward, but <laughs> sharks will take it. I mean, oh, that's a cheeky little. What, what's that? Oh, so little. Yeah, we'll see if this comes into play for a liege. With the two SMGs and uh, two players lacking helmets, maybe this can quickly turn around. But again, sharks are just creeping, keeping the numbers together. So risky for Liquid to look for information. We can see a rotation, though, from one of the Liquid players. And Liquid are trying to make things difficult for Shocks once again, trying to buy time. Elige wondering where to focus, trying to avoid... Oh, he's trying to be bait, but he gets taken out immediately, and the trade is there. Shocks are turning this around, but once more, Stewie making bomb plant issues, but he runs out of bullets, can't find a second frag, and Shocks will force it straight back. Three plays surviving, weapon stolen. Now they have another test. Nice little entry there. Onto Nitro, and then we had the little awkward situation here with Naf with that auto shotgun. Really opens up the map there. Five on three situation. They actually do end up going towards B, which was the stacked bomb site. They had three, they had two members there, Liquid. That auto yeah. shotgun situation feels a bit face palmy for Naf Light. He might get a little triggered with that after winning a force buy. Yeah, and the other weapon there. Yeah. It's a kill. An MP9 would be dandy. The the spray pattern, well, the spray pattern, the spread was made tighter with the auto shotgun to make it more accurate, but it's still maybe there are better implementations for it. Minute 20, and sharks look to clear out the uh, approach to A. Looks like they're keeping it simple on this occasion. Not going to be lurking too much. It's it's they who have the advantage, and they will use it on this occasion. Plenty of time to correct any errors. Smokes are deployed, looking for a response. Nitro looking the wrong way. Almost getting there, but not quite. Leo Drunky now. Very interesting name he's got. Holding down the uh, position for a potential CT smoke push. So much fire, so much potential variance in the buy rounds to come at the very least. We'll see what Team Liquid choose to do. It is a force buy. They could at some point, like if they lose another player, they may just choose to reset the situation for the next round to come. It's Dewey in the red now. They've lost position. So is it worth just saving, to, just holding on to these weapons and having another go in the next round? Perhaps it is. Yeah, I think so, considering you have, already have armor as well. Maybe the pistols you can live without, but... Yeah, just reset it again. Yeah, considering you bought... It is looking like it's going to be another just wonky buy here from Liquid next round. Even if they decide to buy with these armors, they're not, not going to get a whole lot of upgrades over these Eagles. Just some SMGs and some nades if they'd like that. But then I'd say, I'd say it's better to just save. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's see what they have in mind. I can't imagine Nitro is going to be buying much. There's still another dangerous run. Another chance for Sharks to make a mistake, but Liquid will have no utility in this round, so it will be easier in some respects for Sharks to uh, deal with this comfortably. Sharks showing some prowess now towards the other side of the map. Elige getting deleted. That's a good start. Nitro is the one who doesn't have much to offer in the sense that he's got the USP, but Nafly Cheeky played down the ladder. This is this is good information. Um, even if Liquid are not successful in these rounds, these are they might see some some gaps in the uh, setup of Liquid for the buy rounds to come. That's a wild play from Mayan. It's got the information. If the round is won, then that might be enough. But there could be so much damage for Stewie, but he's been spotted in the smoke. That three versus two. There could have been a lot more variance there, but here we are, four to one for Sharks. Yeah, and still, there was enough money on NAF if he wanted to buy an op, but opts for the M4 armor and utility instead. Still, uh, not a lot of mollies here on the CT side. And when I say not a lot, I mean zero. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. I think that Sharks have had, in both of these cases, just from the five rounds we've seen, they've had executes onto both A and B uh, with the mollies and looking at their utility. It does open up quite a bit of 
opportunities and possibilities for them to do. Like I said, we haven't seen a whole lot. I feel like the bee bomb site in, in general, even hitting that initial bomb site area, because people like to play defensive, it's still hard to get the bomb down and even get good positioning. I do wonder, versus uh, a lower tier opponent, if Team Liquid will feel like they can get away with more flanks, more aggression. Speaking of the, the B bomb site, if Sharks aren't able to show enough presence. They, they push there, yeah. I think now with the change, maybe it's a little bit harder. You're not getting like necessarily the, the angle, but I think, yeah, you, you can see it here already. Very aggressive from Liquid. Rank 32 versus rank 1. Very forward positions. I wonder if we will see more of the uh, the run boost that Astralis showed at the Major. <laughs> We're going to see people fail that for sure. Just go flying off the side of the map. <laughs> it's going to look crazy and I can't wait. Twist. Is he in a one and done position? The trigger discipline may have taken out, but it's awkward because... Uh, uh, very awkward indeed. He goes behind the box. Decisions had to be made there. But there's only two shock plays remaining at the moment. He got deleted elsewhere. Exit going down the ladder. Bomb needs to be collected one minute on the clock. Wherever they choose to go, there's a fair chance it might be a 2v2. Although with mid to cover for Team Liquid, maybe the shocks are more inclined to head towards B. Perhaps there'll be one player B, one player mid. Lucan has to be careful with his scoping because that could be heard from mid position. That could cause a, ro a, a rotation. 40 seconds, you can see Nitro and Stewie still towards the A bomb site. And there seems to be a nice off angle here from Elige. It'll be good for the first brag. Exit has the bomb, making steps. Got Stewie considering the rotation, and now the rotation is on. 27 seconds to plant the bomb, he's got to commit to this. Nafly creeping, looking to jump over. Exit juggling, trying to create some space for himself. Fade away, flashbang, looking for the rotators. Nafly's waiting around the smoke. As he continues to push, smoke dissipating. He spots Naf, but not fast enough. The ding dong from Naf flying. There's a second round for Team Liquid. Yeah, at least your smoke actually helped him there a little bit. Probably maybe he had a smoke for himself, but he used it elsewhere. Nice retake, though. Keeps three players alive from Liquid. Got the SG on Nitro as well. I feel like especially on this map because there's a lot of weird little wonky angles. These AUGs and SGs are pretty powerful. P90, I don't see that all too often anymore. Yeah, an expensive weapon, not the best kill bonus. But um, it's a it can be a strong one. It is very rare these days. Sharks picking up the pace, it seems. Moving through the smoke grenade, trying to abuse the numbers and ab abuse the Krieg as well. Twist taken out. Money's not there for Liquid if they lose this round by elimination. Pop flash and Elish has a look. He has no idea just how many players are below him. Does he spot the bags of money on these Shark players? Not just yet. That's a lot of utility though being thrown into the site. Can't quite find the mark and he'll be traded. That's not good enough. That P90 getting activated just for a second. Leo Drunky dropped. Nafly trying to escape. He's got two so far. He's bought some time for Liquid. Still alive for now, but there we go. Now Mayan is with Exit versus Stewie. Position unknown. Got to be careful about this jump. I don't think he can do it without making a sound. Got to pick his timing well. Or the footsteps. Almost, but not quite seeing the head. Oh, he does get up there quietly. It is possible. But he'll be spotted. Maybe there was a sound. Not so sure. Another round in the bag for Sharks. It's looking good so far on the T side. Again, we said they had to break the money and keep Liquid poor. They've done that, at least in the short term. Yeah. And actually, their focus hasn't been towards A. In the last three, three rounds here, towards B. They are taking their time, but it doesn't be working. I don't think he heard him there. I actually think he was just holding the angle yeah. during the plant. Liquid forced on the save. Nitro has a lot of money here, so expect an op here next round from him. Nafly got away with a ladder push in uh, one of the previous rounds. He'll go for it early. Lucan can't see him going down the ladder. So now Naf has a close range position with the P250. See if that has a part to play in the round later on. He's got to wait for distraction from his teammates or at least presence elsewhere. Oh, the timing. Exit's got his knife out, still looking behind him, but 
Will he continue at this point around the corner? Nafla could line up too. At what point does somebody turn around? Oh, that's awkward. Leo lining up the shots. Oh, there's one. There's two. Marvelous stuff from Naflite. Exploiting information from earlier on. And Stewie's picked up a Krieg and he will wreck house. Two versus one now. Mayan has to speed up. This is colossal failure from Sharks. Stewie's the only person with a rifle. And Liege could choose to engage first if it all works out. A bottle rolls down the ramp. The bomb in the middle of the ramp. And Stewie will finish off the job. Three kills for him, but again, Nafli. The information, we did note it earlier when he went down the ladder and flanked. His timing was absolutely perfect. Wasn't too concerned with the deployment of the grenades. Almost didn't get a second frag, though. If he, yeah. if he doesn't get two there, then who knows what happens. <laughs> that is a stolen round. Yeah, and like you're saying, the timing there, too. They actually had two players from Sharks holding that angle. I think you're safe there. No one holding the flank. It is that small little window you were talking about. Yeah. As soon as the nades goes down, someone's probably holding the flank again, so... Actually puts Sharks on an eco. That was such a strong position for them. We spoke about breaking the CT economy and so on, but they just couldn't break the flank of Nav. But Elige will fly to his doom, but Swiss has a better angle. The trades continue though, and now a rifle can potentially be collected. They don't know where the other player is, um, Team Liquid. That's Lucan, and he's got the sound cues of the CTs backing up. That's some nice damage to Nitro. One more bullet would be great, but might not get a chance. Now it goes from bad to worse. Exit has the bomb. He has one minute on the clock. He hears some rotation. He's giving sound cues himself, trying to get in position towards A before the AWP can get in situ. Both CTs low. The footsteps continue. He's got so much time, though. To make it easier for them. Now nah, Fly will finish off the job. Bit of panic exit, kind of sweeping his crosshair everywhere. There's a lot of time left too. Yeah. Made a lot of noise. Yeah, he kind of just made it a little easier. For them. The expectation was in the right place for Team Liquid because there were just so many sound cues. Perhaps they're a bit nervous versus a very high tier opponent. But they're back on the buy shocks. These kind of opportunities you... Uh, have to seize against a team like Team Liquid. Early Molly for a liege. Looks like the T's may have fast intentions toward the mid position. He'll back off. He's got some support from Nafli. They could play off of each other, but Nafli will fall back. A HE to fade away. Not too shabby, but not deep enough on this occasion. Molly to clear sandbags. Yeah, they're not letting go on this area though. Still want mid control. Nades continue. Pop flash. Elise will take the fight. He's got a trade frag here and Nafli. He has to win a second duel if he goes for it, but he falls back. Can't afford to lose the entire area. That will have to be enough for now. They're still putting Sharks into Plan B, Plan C territory. Which again, the uh, lower rank you are, the, the harder that might be to deal with. Team Liquid feeling comfortable now after the, the initial rounds from Sharks. Again, such a great opportunity lost by Sharks. That may... Uh, be a huge problem as this continues. Extremely forward angles on A as well. Team Liquid taking liberties at the moment. Stewie's been left alone in this position. Is this a blind spot? Does anybody even hard check this? Not yet. I feel like he's getting two or three frags here. There's one player going up. One, two. The transfer is good. And he leaves two remaining. Nafli with the Krieg. The Krieg on both sides. So many frags today. He'll fall to the flames before Exit can find the frag. 20 seconds to plant the bomb. One versus two. But the bomb has to be collected first. That'll cost him some map control. On the high ground, we've got Twist. But Nitro's got the angle through the smoke. Is there anywhere where he can plant the bomb? Trying to invite the CTs out. But 10 seconds now. He can't find the final bullet. One more bullet on Twist. And maybe he had a chance. But Team Liquid will take it. Yeah, that mid area is so hard to take. And here, like I'm saying, Stewie. Cheeky little position there. This one on the bomb side off to the left there, too. But that one is definitely cleared nowadays. Another pistol round here from Sharks. They do have three flashbangs on top of that. So, But Stewie, oh, super fast round here. This could potentially be... 
This is hard to deal with. Yep. Oh, or maybe it's not. Not if you're Mayan with a CZ-75. Now they can try to rush while the CTs are out of position, but that smoke, the, sorry, the Molotov will make it harder. What a spray from Elise. That man has been doing his angles. Running out of bullets, plenty of cover to reload, and they can try and bait them into Nitro as well. Team Liquid, they thrive in the madness, in the carnage, in the bedlam, in the anarchy, and there's a flank from Twist. And then he goes from bad to worse. Headshots, of course. Twist, a uh, style guru on Team Liquid. Likes his fancy jeans. And Team Liquid take the lead. There's money for Sharks. But perhaps success is, has run. Perhaps success has run dry for them. Four rounds in a row for Team Liquid. Have they solved the puzzle of the Sharks? Have they drained the basin? Well, we see the answer here from Sharks. Do get that AWP up. JNT. One SG as well. Back on the utility. A lot of smokes and mollies. See what this side doing here. The AWP actually is going towards A at least. He will be met by Nitro. How long does he feel comfortable holding this angle for? Never mind. Well, he's learned something today, and Sharks have got two entries. There's a big rotation. Mayan may be looking to flank, of course, some problems later on, but for now, Leo's taking a forward position. Elige will get absolutely deleted, and surely that is the round over. Sharks yeah, no are not yet. They've wrecked them again. This is another opportunity for Sharks. This time, they have to take it. Yeah, and five players alive as well. Two very quick entries on that A-bomb site. Uh, something we we talked about. Players do like to play that A bomb site nowadays. A little bit more aggressive. Can't really play the bomb site. Are aggressive or retakes. This time didn't really work out for Liquid. This is the second opportunity for Sharks to try and take a lead, a good lead as we head towards half time because that's the case now. This is round number twelve. Again, keep the CTs poor. So key to uh, having a reasonable half on Vertigo from what we've seen so far. Yeah, they're not going for it either. Being smart with their own economy. Building some bank. Just doing this alone and especially as well because the round was so fast. Not a lot of utility was needed to be used. Just some smokes, a few what do you mollies. Mean that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Could barely make out the detail of what he was looking at. The angle was so tight. So we're starting to learn these tight angles now on Vertigo. Six to six. We have a pause of some description. Money is bad for Liquid. Yeah. I still have two kids. What is going on? Why do I have to ask in advance? Somebody told me. We'll see how what Liquid Liquid opts to do if they want to buy on this or not. The Nitro just bought a smoke. Might have a plan with this. But I do like the adaptation here from Sharks. Knowing even if Nitro hasn't had a lot to do with that op, it does cause a nuisance in trying to take a part of the map. So someone's having a that. sorry, Robin, someone's having a one of the players is having a PC problem, which is why there Ooh. is a pause. Their CS is freezing, apparently. Well, doesn't just happen at events. It um, doesn't really happen uh, all too much at home. Yeah, but, it's uh, it's weird the things that can cause problem at LAN. Like people, I didn't realize people had video, they had config files for video setting. I totally understand why it just breaks, right? And especially, I think it would break less if there was more time to not have your own hard drive, you know what I mean? Mm. But I think that every single time you replace a hard drive, and a player messes with something, uh, you know, it's just both for, for problems. Yeah. Just one of those things you've got to deal with. It's gone better, though. Yeah. I don't see uh, nearly as many plays at events anymore. Okay. Team Liquid. This is an eco round. They had some rifles from the round prior, and they'll try to use them. Stewie on the way up. So again, big opportunity for Sharks, and uh, they need to not overplay their advantages. Nafly may have seen JNT as well. Okay, they'll slowly back away. A minute 20. What is the plan for Sharks? It seems that JNT will go and collect the bomb. What is Chewie going to be able to do with this boost? 
Now fly swinging on mid, nothing doing just yet. Mid on the clock. Shocks haven't done too much. I think they're just trying to be patient, looking for an aggressive play from Liquid, because of course they are more inclined to do that in a situation such as this. But once again, Sharks can only wait so long that they've got to make a push before they ruin their own time. Bayon will be heard rotating away. 49 seconds now. Sharks edging, looking just to take the CTs by surprise. So there's a the sound cue to be heard. They start to move forward. Where are the Molotovs? There's one. Forcing Liquid into bad spots, and with 30 seconds, they're starting to push the A-bomb site. So this is better timing, I'd say. If something goes wrong, they've got time for error correction to retake some map control before they are forced to start the bomb. But now time is starting to get low, and Nafli's coming in with the M4 through the smoke. 20 seconds, bombs on the floor. Four versus two. Perhaps it was too late after all. Mayen doesn't have a response just yet. Just standing there, waiting for the peak on the side. Stereo frags now for Sharks. 10 seconds, and is that a gap that Nafla can play with? The pre-fire is pretty good for exit, but he can't st stop the bomb from going down. Twist on the flank. Exit turns around too late. This looks like it's going to be disaster again. Mayen can't take Nafla out with a crouch peak, and with two rifles, Team Liquid have stolen another round, which should have been fairly straightforward for Sharks. Yeah, it's a little, like you're saying, I don't necessarily think that it might have been timing-wise, but I do think that when Sharks have the weapons that you have, Take some challenges, take some duels here on the A-bomb site to clear it a little bit faster in advance so when you do do your execute here. Because it There's does take a lot gap. of time. E yeah. Even if you notice the rotation from Liquid here, everything, they, they have time to even rotate. And <clears throat> despite the fact, yeah, sure, it turns into two and two, by then Liquid is, is already on the flank, so. Yeah, they're not really like taking the site before they're hopping into the corner with the bomb to try and plant it. So... Oh dear, double HEs from Team Liquid, very nice. And Mayan gets exploderized. Okay, early four versus five for Sharks. Again, a true test of um, the up and coming teams when you are put in a less than ideal situation immediately. Your plan A gets deleted. What is your plan B? What does it look like? Yeah. And for Sharks, I think A has not been a place that they go to when, there's, when they have a disadvantage towards B, especially knowing as well, like I said, they do have the mollies, and it is looking like that's going to happen. Exit, important frag on Naf there too, just completely cuts off the rotation. If he wants here now, he can just stay, he can follow his team if he wants, cover the flank. I'm expecting mollies in the back of the bomb sites here. The smoke swell to cover off. Twist has an off angle though. He's got to find two, he finds zero. Elijah is still here, moving ahead of the smoke grenades, trying to catch the plays in isolation. There's JNT, and he sees that no one else is pushing just yet. So, is there information for Liquid to rotate back? Stewie still going towards the B bomb site, just now turning around, getting escapes on back towards A. Time starting to run low once again. We've got Exit trying to make a play, but he won't be able to take Nitro out. But he stops the rotation or slows it at least. Zui is here though. And again, it's low time for the bomb to get planted. Lucan alone, he will trade the frag, but surely this is impossible. Nitro, it's easy for him. 20 seconds on the clock. And Team Liquid make it to eight. But Shark still have six on the board. We don't know just yet if that will be enough. Yeah, try with... Uh it wasn't even a B fake to begin with, but I think that they noticed that the Liquid had a lot of members on the B bomb site. Rotates back to A instead, and by then there's no more util utility left. It's a tough spot to begin with. Even though they opened up that map, I felt like pretty well. One could argue that maybe you would have should have stayed there instead. Well, it's going for it now. Don't know if Nitro really saw all that much due to the smoke being in place. Versus to be had. And Team Liquid aren't getting too combative towards that A ramp. Do have <clears throat> mid presence and they don't have anybody on the B bomb side just yet. So Twist is going to be feeling it on the flank. Lovely stuff from him pushing all the way down. So Liquid seems to have them contained in some respect. Stewie, he's been pretty scary with some of these positions. Will they check for it though? I mean, I mean this must be very spray sprayable. This is a hard one because he's just standing behind it, unlike being trapped around the corner, standing on the wires. Three versus three. Minutes on the clock, very different pace for Sharks, but there's some variants being invited. Leo, oh, the spray! Nitro to 14 HP, didn't hit a connection, but he's still looking actually, so perhaps he did. Twist now, one versus three. He's definitely capable, be it with a rifle or a pistol. 
They don't know where he's coming from. That's to his advantage. Going to be hard for him to get two by surprise, though. They're looking around Sharks, trying to cover everything. Who will be the initial engager on the high ground? The spray is there. Lucan taken out. Two more to go. HE towards the elevators. No one there, though. Trying to double peek. There's Leo Drunk. He's got the 1v1s, but he's running out of bullets. Down to the pistol. He has a kit. He needs to find a weapon. Trying to invite these T's to come out. But JNT will come in from the back. And it will, it will be round number seven for Sharks at half time. So, seven rounds on the board versus Team Liquid on the T side. Is it enough? Find out after the break. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Team Liquid. Maybe they're in a spot of bother. We'll have to see as the story develops. Sharks on the CT sides. Little flashbang out there for Leo Drunk. He just can't quite spot the right fight, though, and he will back away. And Team Liquid will press. At least Stewie will press. We have a CT behind the sandbags. Always a dodgy position, and there is a Molotov for it. Oh, nice, a flashbang out there for Lucan to peek with, but it's not gone well, has it, for Sharks? 5v3 now for Team Liquid. They've got the numbers, and they still have the smoke grenades to set up a potential bomb plant. Mayen has a HE grenade. And he waits. On the old in, on the old Vertigo. One of the more original redesigns of the map, if you will. Made some nice meaty HEs for the default bomb plant. Twist was actually using them. But now that version of Vertigo is long gone. The bomb's been planted. There is a kit for sharks. A smoke diffuse would be a lot to ask. Very hard to do. I think Liquid tried it in the first half. Got blasted immediately. There's a first opening frag now for sharks on the potential retake. There's smoke is up towards the bomb itself. That's quite the headshot from Twist. And again, it's just it's just not going to work, is it? Post plant on the A bomb site, especially on the pistol round, is pretty damn difficult. Yes, so Eco Town for Sharks. Have you been making a lot of shark puns, James? No, not a single one. Really? Yeah. Well, I did really? say I did say they drained the base in one one uh, one round, ah. but apart from that, that was the only thing. Do you want to? Do you want to get some in there? Oh, I'm good actually. Okay. I don't. I didn't feel the need to uh, just ruin the experience of our of our viewers today. All right. 
Just but like I feel like you you have the urge to. Uh... No, I just feel like you'll be able to get some good ones in. You know. Either way, <clears throat> Twist will be defending the rush. Looks like he's gonna take down pretty much everybody. That looks really easy. And uh, Leo is all that's left. Leonardo Oliveira. And he's now dead as well. So that was a nice fast one. And we'll move into the buy. What do the Sharks have to offer? Team Liquids will keep the everything. Galils, the UMPs. And I'm curious what will be the <clears throat> the best result in terms of you know how to utilize a buy like this. I imagine there's a bunch of different approaches. At this point, you know, the meta's you know still developing pretty rapidly on this map, I'd say. Oh I love that flashbang. Very fast play from Leo there. Can't quite make it though. JNT gets one through the sandbags, but he's got to get back out of there. He'll find some more things to hide behind. And oh my god, this off angle almost worked out. Gets a drop on Stewie, but needs to be a bit more accurate for that one. And it's looking pretty bad here for Sharks. Over-investing, perhaps. Maybe they had to after the first attack didn't go so well. Oh, no. can only play a reactive game. Just waits to find out his fate, and it's not good. The diagnosis is terminal. He's got a flank from Mayen, but there's enough liquid personnel to look for this. Bomb plant is here, and Nitro has the angle, and he's got the spray as well. Round number 11 for Team Liquid. This may be a brief one this half. It was looking like that could be the case. We'll have to see, though. I think we, we, haven't, <coughs> we have not really seen a proper buy from Sharks just yet, of course, so we'll have to... Wait and see what that will entail when they have an AWP. But yeah, it looks kind of nice in terms of the money, especially for Liquid. And there's so many options on this map still, you know. Damn. Astralis stickers on the floor. You see that? BM. <laughs> we'll see how Liquid does their anti-ecos. Well, there's the anti-eco. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different approach here from Sharks. Liquid did... Um take their time on their CT side, on their Ecos. Not really giving Sharks a lot of opportunity or room to get some entries. Sharks has a different plan in mind of just rushing A. Obviously, like you're saying, Liquid cleans that up. Even then on Anti-Ecos, James, they were struggling on the on the Shark side, on that T side. You know, they got a... They got rounds, but they could have gotten more rounds. Yeah, James. Sharks lost. <laughs> they missed a lot of opportunities yeah. on the anti ecos. Yeah. It could have been a very, well, they could have had more of a chance. It's still early in this half, it feels like. But it might not be early for long. <laughs> God, presence. That's crazy, man. It's scary. A scary situation to be playing against Team Liquid. Yeah. But uh, indeed, they could have had, um, they could have had more rounds and they would certainly need them against the number rank, number one ranked team in the world. Look how clean the money is of Liquid. 10,000 clean, 9,000 clean, 9,000 clean, 2,000. I like it, all the zeros. So many zeros. It's very aesthetic. We don't have an AWP here on Sharks, neither do we on Liquid side. Oh, is he? oh we do have an AWP, I'm just completely blind. Um, sorry about that. Leo choosing not to drop this time around. I think he... Uh, I think that's the right choice for him. Chanty with the HE there. Expecting Liquid will be edging forwards. It's hard to know exactly how many players are there at this point. Sharks don't know what's going on. They've got two on B, one in mid, and two... Well, they had, did have two towards A. JNT will be moving back to a more elevated position. And Liquid is holding still, rotating back to the bomb now. Very slow round here from Liquids. So he keeps the pressure up on the A bomb site as they rotate back towards B. So just trying to make sure that rotation stays away from the B bomb site for as long as possible. Yeah, he's pulled Lucan to T spawn a little bit, but he quickly goes back towards B. Shark's not really sure what's going on right now. That said, Leo Drunky. His attention is towards that mid position, but he's just been smoked off and he goes back towards A. 
Pinto. There aren't like, too, many, too many clues. Exit's taken out. I don't know how many plays he saw, but probably heard more than he saw. Mayon waits on the A bomb site and uh, B bomb site, sorry. Time is on their side. With so much little time on the clock, he's trying to use area control with that Molotov, but maybe could have been used on the site, but maybe he's on the right play because they're getting absolutely wrecked. Lovely flashbang off the steel girder and three survive for sharks. I think the flash actually missed, didn't it? The girder? They hit the girder. They hit the girder? Oh, yeah. yeah, cool. I thought it missed for a second. You can see him no, blind his hands up. There we go. Oh, no, it did oh. miss. Did oh. it miss? Well, he got flashed anyway, so. Yeah, that's, gonna, that's what I was going to say. Is I, I was like, <laughs> next level. I swear I missed. I was like, oh, it worked out pretty nicely. <laughs> that's, the the problem, that's the problem, I guess, for, for people that keeps on taking B there. Not having them all in the back of the site there. Since yeah. it is a very narrow choke point. One flash there really opens up possibilities for the CT. Nice entry. <clears throat> Just like that, it could all turn around. They shut it down as well, the forward position. And uh, Leo Junkies, oh, surely he's got that kill. My goodness, how does he not get a liege there? That is something going back the way of Liquid. That would have been terrible had he died, liege that is, because then Liquid would be, would be 3v5. But instead, they have a much more workable position in, in four versus four there. They are looking, I think, to commit towards A, keeping things simple. Unless there is to be a big rotation, but they have no presence anywhere else, so that is unlikely then. Smokes, mollies, keeping it simple. Yeah, that's a lot of space covered by that combo. Nitro looking for somebody forced forward by the Molotov, but Sharks will fall back. They're still close to the site, though, and the clock it continues to tick. Two Smokes, two Molotovs for Team Liquid. No one to make a play elsewhere. Shark's taking aggressive angles. Lucan waiting for a push. You can see he's got the shadow advantage once the T's come up, unless his position is on fire. And the smokes will isolate these CTs. Lucan's alone now. There's pop flash for a forward play. That's the bomb spotted. A great headshot. And that's going to be Mayan rotating as well. He's got some utility that will help. But the flicks with the AWP will do everything. Elise left with 20 HP. And there's another one from JNT. Awesome hold from him. A 4K in the round. And it's a ninth round for Sharks. The second round in a row in this half. I like this play from Lucan as well, but these these flicks were great. <clears throat> I would love to see that. Brazilian snipers, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious on the uh, on how like sensitivity dif uh, differentiates between regions because that used to be a thing in the old days. Like different regions would actually have there would be like big trends, just regional trends. Um, either way, Lucan holding towards the speed side. Nice damage with the. There's fire everywhere, my goodness. Twist and Stu burning. They are weak. There is no CT to be found just yet for them. They get drunky. Okay, JNT coming back out with the orb. Leo drunky finds one. He can fall back now. It's really the damage on Stewie and Twist. Liquid it really feels like Liquid are in a lot of trouble in this round as well. Yeah. Not knowing the tendencies of Sharks in general. Sharks having picked Vertigo here. Sometimes interesting. it can be shaking on your confidence sometimes when you just you can see like really crazy individual play from play, plays you've never heard of. Sometimes because you might because your expectation is is not to see that. It, or it is for that you you know, for you to individually overpower people. Yeah, that was very fallen style. JNT continues to be a problem on this ramp. Team Liquid may be running out of ideas at the moment. There's still a lot of time on the clock, but they have done zero damage in this round so far. JNT rotates away. Well, not really. They're just waiting, Sharks. They're simply waiting. Liquid walking into position again. They've got, well, just the one smoke now, but the two Molotovs waiting for a pick, waiting for curiosity. JNT will be uh, taken out of play for a time. Leo Drunky will be the point man. They can afford to have him out there. Now it's a four versus two. Molotovs are up, but how on earth do they get the bomb down? 15 seconds, spray through the smoke, and it's being attempted by Twist. He might just about get there. Now fly for cover. Is he good for more than one? He's alone now, one versus two, but there are just too many sharks in the water. <laughs> it may fall off the side. Gets a bomb down, though. Would have probably never guessed that, knowing that they were hitting the bomb side with one smoke only. But you're right, I mean, Liquid's not really getting um, getting the these early frags that they want. They've always hitting this bomb site now with a deficit, so yeah, I think it's about time now that we maybe see an off here.
from Liquid. Maybe not this round, but in the next few rounds, it is looking like just a pistol round here. So I'm feeling the three maps already. I don't know about you guys. We've had that as a it's trend been, so far. Yeah, it has been a trend. Every single game has been three maps so far. Well, I feel like um, on Vertigo, I, I think it's still... You know, we've learned a lot about Vertigo, but perhaps there's a lot more to learn. And I think teams can still have styles and little strats that can take people by surprise um, with how old the map is at this point. So I think with it being picked by Sharks, there was always going to be a question mark there. I don't think it was a given. Just the type of map it is and the kind of variance you have on the A bomb site. There aren't many maps where I would uh, say that variance is a factor, but it feels like it the way these fights have gone, or the, the fights generally go. An exchange of grenades and smokes up. There's so many smokes as well, which is why I, I talk about the variance. So many smokes up. There's some spray expecting the players to start making a run through. They will. Now fly will be able to get the bomb down just about. Looking to fall back as well, but Stewie's flank is being taken out, and as the smokes dissipate, there's not really all that many places to stand here for Team Liquid. Twist with a deagle, though. Never know. Looking, He's... fishing. Oh, yeah, there we go. That wasn't even a pun. I always say fishing because he's kind of fishing for something. Okay. There we go. There's a headshot from Twist. Is anybody on the bomb just yet? Now they are, but surely Nitro has an angle. Surely it's a formality. The spam, the Tech 9. Oh, oh boy, the Tech 9. That's why I didn't pick it, boys. <laughs> oh, way. That's so unfortunate for Liquid. That would have been a huge round. Mm. I mean, in some ways, it still could be huge in damage they did and, and forcing Sharks to deplete their finances. But um, that you feel like with how hard it is to, to defuse in the smoke, especially in that position, you feel like that should have been around for Liquid. Got a little bit robbed there. <clears throat> yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Those moments are really rough. And but, but, it, but Sharks do hold on. And they may try to mix things up here, but you can see the aggression again. This hasn't always worked out so well for them, but this time they completely crush the aggression of Team Liquid, my god, they've been annihilated. Nitro is lucky to escape with his life as well. Wow. Shark's really not afraid to go aggressive. This is uh, this is very scary territory for Team Liquid. Leo Drunky is, I don't even know where. Looking for the foreman's office. Twist creeping. It's like an aim challenge now. At some point, he's got to find a CT looking for information. Grenades deployed to the site itself. Forcing Mayan forward, not too shy. Avoids most of the flashbang. Isolated from his teammates, and you can see it forces him to reveal his position. He fires a shot. That is some information for Liquid. Nafly looking for the dry peaks as well. Very arid scene here on Vertigo. Naf, though. See what we can do here. The door's not open. Creepy is just going to be sticking around here. That knock on twist maybe might be able to take the bomb site, but I wouldn't get my hopes up considering Nitro has low on HP, but he decides to go for it instead. And now the rest of Liquid will make their way into the front of the bomb site. The time is of the essence, and they don't have any utility to aid them at this point, but. Well, the AK-47 does the job for Twist. I don't know about Mayan, though. Surely they do. He's been making lots of noise. He's going to go for this. Deny the plant. going to try to do it, but he can't find the kill in time. And it's two versus two. Oh, my God. Twist is not looking at all. What the hell? It's like Mayan has an invisibility cloak on or something. That was a little bit odd, wasn't it? He's running around. All but Twist was just completely... I, I think that Twist was just taking the gamble there. Kind of right, knew right, that right. he was just in the open, hoping that maybe yeah. he gets one of the frags before he dies. That makes sense. Yeah, he might be baiting by firing to... Uh... Have somebody else peek. Yeah, just don't know. 12 to 12. It's been five rounds in a row for Sharks. It's been three defuses. Now, will they become... Uh, if it was on a T side, I'd say, will, it, will they become afraid to lose considering they could topple the, the number one ranked team? But I think on the CT side, it's a different story. But maybe panic will ensue later on. Excuse me. Slight we'll hiccup there. See here now too, Nitro. Did end up picking up that off. I think this is the first round he's had one on the T side. Let's see if we can do something with it. It's going to be hard to deal with JNT though, because he's got the angles. He has been very, very consistent with the flicks on the Avon site. 
Yeah, Drunky boosted up. You can see JNT showing some presence. He may have to reload soon, though. Now, creating some presence elsewhere, trying to spread the CT's a little thin. Leo trying to spray anyone who's trying to set up some grenades by those sandbags. JNT starts to seek to destroy. Oh, that should have been a kill. Yeah, that's a, an important opportunity now missed. There's some more opportunity to be had. You can see the incendiary will slow things down slightly for the, C, the T side. Oof, JNT still unable to find any frags. Defensive smoke by Leo Drunky. Hold his position. Uh, hold on to his position. 40 seconds to go. So time's starting to run out. Now still working middle as well. And here comes Leo Junkie. Oh my god, he's going on the aggression! The transfer! Almost the third. Denied, but the damage that he's done is incredible. Elise will pick off JNT from the distance, which is beautiful, but... At this point, Sharks can continue to play the time. In fact, they're just gonna go for it. The MP9 swing is... Stunning. That I love it. aggression was so well timed. They, nice can't, flash they can't expect this. It's just complete surprise. Yeah, and normally he goes on the left side there too, which is what their focus was on, especially with the smoke being there as well. Nice little round. Like that. That's a huge round. This late in the game, no bomb plant for Team Liquid. That's the thing. Against an unfamiliar opponent, um, you, can't, you can't be prepared for things like that. It's amazing as well because like, it just goes to show also how hard it is to be a top-level team in Counter-Strike right now because the level on, in general is, is, is risen so, so much from all the regions, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing to see. Like, like majors are going to become so much, like so in incredibly interesting. And, we, uh, you know, it, we, we had these, the surprise of, of people like, you know, Force, of Anger, and so on and so forth. Like, generally the CIS region, I would say. Yeah. But, uh, I, you know, I, I feel like we're set up for a huge Brazilian surprise as well um, in the coming uh, coming year. Well, they've got to buy out Liquid. Now... Man, it's even hard for them to try and abuse their skill and just frag out because, uh, again, JNT with this AWP on A has been absolutely savage. And he's changed his position. If he scopes in, that will be a clue. But who knows? It could be double orbs as far as Liquid are concerned. They swing at the right foot moment, but Nafla gets taken up because there's rifle support with Lucan. That's the opening frag for Sharks. That's a great start for them. They, they're getting a lot of openings, aren't they? Liquid working towards the A ramp again. Stewie trying to just contact it. And that's probably the right call. There is an opening here, which he can't know about. Can he find the timing? Yeah, he can. Lucan goes to the peak. Gets punished by Stu. So that will equalize things. Force a rotation. JNT makes his way around. But can Liquid find a way in? Stewie's dangerous with this. Krieg. Comes the shocks. It's so quiet right now. Here, yeah, Drunky again. He's, is he going to find a timing? <gasps> oh no! He's going to do it again. Nitro taking critical damage. How is he getting away with this? This is absolutely amazing. JNT again causing problems. Now there's a man disadvantaged for Liquid. And someone's got to plant a bomb, which means there's only one guy to cover. Oh, is this a thing? <gasps> oh, twist! He's going to go! Sharks are causing. Absolute havoc here on Vertigo. They picked it versus Team Liquid, oh and they gosh. have sent them packing in this round. The bomb was planted, but that was absolutely amazing. Have you seen that before? That's my first time seeing I that. I haven't seen that before. I haven't seen that before. That's that a is fine sick. Detail. I do not think that that will be the last time we see it. That is so sick. That's pretty cool. Great job again by Sharks. They're actually doing such a great job here. Yeah, they're finding Especially great timings. Knowing the Liquid is continuous hitting that A bomb site, a lot of pressure would be on. Leo and JNT, but they're doing, those are also the best performers on Sharks at the moment. Makes total sense. They would have had an off game, chances are Liquid would have probably had an easier time hitting that A bomb site, but, and again, this is what I was talking about, the Vertigo kind of thing. We saw at the Major a lot with A being a little <laughs> oh bit easier. God. Yeah, he's just on a roll at the moment. I, a... thought, I thought this was possible. I mean, it's hard to actually. You know, do an execution, but Vertigo, man, I'm telling you, it's it's that map. But still, though, now. they're playing so sick, though. Yeah. Like, it's actually nuts. But 
that said, the openings finally go to Liquid. They get a man advantage, a four versus three, loads of time. They've got middle as well. So at this point, huge gambles really need to be taken by Sharks. Leo's going to go down. He might have a good angle here. That's a C. No, he can't find it. Twist will be ready for it. And at that point, is it a save? Do we have any money here for Sharks? No, so it's definitely a save. It's really interesting, that tiny gap for the wall bang. The attention to detail. You, you wonder when a new map is released by Valve, how long? Like, they must sit in an office and be like, have they figured it out yet? You know, sitting on a go TV, just watching somebody in that position. Like, when do they, when do they come to the realization? Must be fun to see that for the first time. I'd be like, there you go. I, mean, I reckon it's an accident more often than not, I would say. Technically, isn't it... I reckon. Isn't it somewhat easy to look at where, where it's wallable? Just download the map program and, like, load the map and see, like, the textures oh, right, of yeah, what the, to put in there. The penetra yeah. Right? <clears throat> you don't even have saying. to, like, run around, I, I think, to, like, try and wall stuff, see if it works. Not that people don't do that, obviously. Yeah. But there, I think maybe there's easier ways. Yeah, that's a big one. But we haven't seen that before, yeah. so it's definitely someone has just been trying that out, see if it's wallable. It did a decent amount of damage too, about half like, in yeah, an off yeah. shot, so... Yeah, and and it wasn't like headshot a, either. Yeah. I wonder what like an M4 spray would do there. I have to yeah. test it later on. A Deagle even has a great penetration yeah. too, so a Deagle would be a good one. Ooh, smokes and Deagles. Yeah. Never mind, Scout's Knives. Smokes Deagles. Well, we're getting into a very crucial position. Team Liquid have won a round just at the right time. All that max loss bonus. Have a look at this. The money for Sharks is in a very weird spot. If they lose this round, are they essentially, I guess they're playing for overtime afterwards. To, to come this far, to win all these rounds in a row, then to almost be put on Eco in round 28, it would be a damn shame if they weren't able to convert it. Yeah, and that AWP critically is missing for James. Yeah, that's a huge win for Liquid. That took very long to get rid of. We'll have to see exactly whether or not Sharks will be able to find a way to win it without the AWP, though. We have got some pretty strong weaponry for them. Exit holding that mid position. He's ready for this one. Gets the first one. I, I think onto Elish as well. It's not bad. And it's not bad at all. It looks like Sharks pushed a ramp. They found that there's nothing there. They're going to react by a quick rotation to B as well. So they should have position. Team Liquid need to move as quickly as possible here. Leo drunk. He's on that flank. Stewie's not going to have any idea about this. And there it is. Gets the, the quick frag there on the flank. Almost another one. And that's Nitro distracted. And Mayen looks to finish it off. He can't quite make it. But Lukum certainly can. As Twist is now left alone in the one versus two. And they can wait. The bomb plant pressure's on him. Whoa! But Genty goes for the peak. And Twist was not ready for that. No fear whatsoever. That is such a brazen play from Sharks. Spin throw from Twitter. JNT is the IGL and also the Orpa. So four Brazilian teams have their IGLs, the Orpa, Yellow and ITZ, Art and Fallen. The two guys from Argentina were added after the minor, and Mayan is 17 years old. So thanks to you. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I think it's Joao. Jao. I think Mayan is sitting at like 1.3 rating or something the past three months, too. It's like. Nutty, to pick up these nutty yeah. teenagers. That's pretty cool, though. Like you're saying, the the thing about JNT, it does seem to be a trend in Brazil that the opera is staying game leader. Maybe uh, Fallen has something to do with that. Yeah, this is uh, that was a crucial round for Liquid. That was that was a uh, that was the round to win the game with. They've lost it, but they still have a very good buy. Now Sharks are still in a similar position, but of course they've won. They're at 15 already, so. It could be worse in that respect, but they're, they're at 15. Mayan on the MP9. Still no AWP now for either side. Legion of Deagle. Team Liquid. Have a lot to do in these two rounds. Sharks have looked like a stronger team, to be honest, on Vertigo. I love the fearlessness. JNT down the ladder. He's been spotted out, though. Twist was ready again. Sharks down a man. Can they save it? Can they find a way? There's a the smoke from Liquid. Leo Drunky. He's been the one that really causes a lot of the problems for Liquid. The, the most surprising attacks. Just like a ninja. Just jumps out of the smoke. 
<laughs> perfect timings to ruin the day of Liquid, and he's still alive. And you Li see the answer here from Liquid as well. JNT goes down. He's the A player, normally with the AWP. And he was actually dead over in the middle, so Liquid moving over there instead. Only Leo, only Leo there. Again! Oh my god, three for Leo, looking for four, close, but not quite. Elise with a lot to do, gets his Barong down to two HP and then exploded afterwards. Nafly, one versus two. They don't know where he is, he could be on the flank. Plays it slow, looking for a 1v1. Scary stuff, especially with how aggressive Sharks have been in this area. 30 seconds, needs to collect the bomb. Going for the rotation, he's got to walk for a long time because that elevator position, there's a lot of sound cues there. 20 seconds on the clock. Is this even doable? 19 seconds, surely they're going to hear him. He starts to run. Shark starting to wander, sticking together for the most part, but we've got a slow creep. Oh, it's going to be close, but I think he's good for it. He'll drop a smoke grenade to create some space just in case. And there's one of the default plants on the B bomb site, so he's made it. Gets into some kind of a post-plant position. Sharks wait for the rotate. Naf just to save Liquid on the map, warning as Sharks. Can he find a way? He's been Molotov here. I'm not sure if they heard the damage go on to Naf. Can he isolate these players in 1v1? Smoke there. So they don't know exactly where he is. And Naf will get the back of one. There it is. Exit. Hasn't been spotted. Naf tries to play both. Oh my god, they both disappear again. Oh my goodness. Naf gets one. He's been spotted out now. Can Luke find a finish on him? The Kree runs around the corner spraying wildly. I don't think he has time though. It's going to be so close. Oh my oh god, they my get it. 16-13. The Sharks have done it. They've won map one. They've won Vertigo against Liquid and they've done it in fantastic fashion. How many of those have we had so far? these oh, past look. two days. There's been a lot of those last tick kind of defu diffuses. It's crazy, man. What a way to win it. Man, that good. was so smart play by Naf there as well. If he if we would have maybe cut that corner half a second earlier, he would have probably started shooting on the first guy. Timing-wise, that didn't really work out. But this is very impressive from, from Sharks. Yeah, that was a really good effort from Sharks. Credit to them. But I do I do think at this stage of Vertigo, it's if if people are picking it into Team Liquid, then they, they, they bring in something. And I think it's that kind of map where you're going to have variance. Still, just the nature of it. There's a bomb site, but see, this was wild from JNT. And he was amazing. His AWP shut yeah. down so many pushes towards A. He had huge plays. He was oh. devastating. These flicks, I don't know if he missed one. Yeah, that's beautiful. Love that. And Great the, confidence. And the difference, too. Sharks between Liquid. Saw their Liquid C side actually was pretty... 50-50, oh honestly. Mm. I think that Sharks definitely had a lot more depth to their T approach. Yeah, and Leo Drunky was going crazy on A as well. The pop flashes through the smoke, the aggression, the brazen flanks, the things that you shouldn't be able to do all played a part in that win. He had a thousand damage more than his second player. That's crazy. That's so much. Yeah, that's, that shows how important he was. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, and in regulation, that's huge. Yeah, over 3,000 damage in regulation is generally pretty damn crazy. Well, that is a huge pickup for Sharks. I did think it was in with the realm of possibility just from the veto, because otherwise, I mean, it just wouldn't make sense to gamble, but um, it's hard to say they are going to win, obviously. But here we are. Liquid are 0 1 down, having lost Vertigo. Very narrow uh, defeat at the end, but it's a defeat nonetheless. They'll have to turn it around on the rounds and maps to come. And they come after the break. We'll see you back here soon.